water in the canal, coupled with the rest of the water on the planet, make up what is known as the hydrosphere. Now the water circulates between the hydrosphere and the atmosphere regularly. As the sunlight shines down and it heats up the water, it starts to evaporate and it changes the water from a liquid form to a gas form and it enters the atmosphere. As it rises through the atmosphere, it cools and condenses and goes from a gas to a liquid again. Um, when the droplets from the condensation are large enough in the clouds, they'll fall to the earth as uh, precipitation. And the type of precipitation is based on the temperature at the time that this happens. Um, there's one other factor that's kind of left out in this whole water cycle discussion and that's going to be the focus of your investigation after this video. We talked about how water evaporates from the surface of the canal and other bodies of water on the planet. It also makes its way into the atmosphere through another process called transpiration. I want you guys to undertake an independent investigation into what transpiration is. Uh, if you'd like, I'll give you a little clue to get you started. 